Hello, this is video number two, and in this video we'll be comparing a few different games. These games include Valentino Rossi the game, this game, Alexis TV, and maybe GTA 5. So in the in this video we'll be comparing the physics and graphics and much more. Maybe do a couple of races and I'll tell you which game is my favourite. The game I'm playing right now is MXIC TV. This game allows you to take control of a rider who rides a dirt bike or a quad bike. In these you do various races and have fun. Now onto, onto physics. Physics they aren't good. Look, if you do this... Oh, look, you just hit me. Nothing happened. I didn't fall off. In real life you would have gone flying. Bike would have been broken. You would have been damaged yourself. The graphics on this are uh, pretty decent. But it could be much better. This is an older game and... But they could be much better, you know? So, on to the next game. Alright, Valentino Rossi the game. This game is one of my favourite games at the moment. I love how realistic it is. This game has many options to make it feel as real as you want it to. I will show you these options soon. The graphics on this game are pretty decent too. The game lets you race as many iconic MotoGP races, or simply make your own character and level up as you go. Here are some options for Valentino Rossi the game that you can make your game fun and challenging. So for race sessions you can make it the full weekend instead of having only the race. Artificial intelligence difficulty. You can change from very easy all the way to simulation which is the hardest. You can change weather conditions, damage to your motorbike, tire wear, off or on, penalty timer, so if you go off track you go back on, and disciplinary flags and penalties. Now, I'll show you some writing aids you can add to make it even more fun. Physics, you can change it. Pro, so it does it all automatically for you. So auto brakes and joint brakes, steering help, or put off for on pro. And semi pro just changes um, the physics. Tuck in, so when you tuck in, when you turn your bike, is automatic or manual. Uh, transmission, you can change it to change your gears manually, or does it automatically. Rewind, which I turned off, so that it's realistic, and if you fall off, you can't rewind. So, yeah, that's basically it for the options. Alright, the last on the list is Grand Theft Auto 5. Probably shouldn't be on the list, but whatever, I'm putting it on here. It just because you can get dirt bikes. As you can see, I'm on one right now. The graphics on this game, yeah, they're okay for 2013 graphics. Um, physics was uh, really bad. Really, really bad. Oh, see? Wow. Obviously you'd fall off like that in real life. You'd probably be knocked out or whatever. Well, you'd probably be dead, actually. Anyway, this is basically it because you can't know much to do in here. There's no gears. There's, that's basically it. Because this game isn't strictly for dirt bikes. It's more about killing people and, yeah, and other stuff I probably shouldn't mention. Alright. 